Good morning and welcome once again to the parish of All Saints, Harrow Weald, a wonderful and inspiring hymn to uh, prepare us for worship this morning, Rejoice the Lord is King. Today we're going to say morning prayer from Common Worship. The service will start in a few minutes at around 10.30 UK time. And as we prepare for worship, another um, hymn sung by the choir of St. Martin in the Fields uh, in central London, Soul of My Saviour. <laughs> And so it's Tuesday morning and uh, here in the Parish of All Saints, Harrow Weald, we're having some of our services in church and others we're live streaming, uh, usually from the Vicarage. And today we're live streaming uh, morning prayer from Common Worship from the Vicarage. I invite you on this Tuesday morning to just pause for a few minutes and worship together. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us, and clothe us with power from on high. Alleluia. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Creator God, to you be praise and glory forever. As your Spirit moved over the face of the waters, bringing light and life to your creation, pour out your Spirit on us today that we may walk as children of light and by your grace reveal your presence. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Let's just pause for a moment as this new day begins and commend to God this day and share with him any burdens that are affecting our heart as this new day begins. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Our morning psalm 
the beautiful and very short but very beautiful Psalm 100 with the refrain, the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting. Oh, be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. The Lord is gracious. His steadfast love is everlasting. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from generation to O Christ, door of the sheepfold, may we enter your gates with praise and go from your courts to serve you in the poor, the lost, and the wandering, this day and all our days. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our Old Testament canticle today is the song of Ezekiel. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. Ezekiel wrote, I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your uncleanliness. A new heart I will give you and put a new spirit within you. And I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you the heart of flesh. You shall be my people and I will be your God. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. Our Bible reading today is taken from the first letter of John, chapter 3, the first ten verses. John writes, See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him. For we will see him as he, as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. Everyone who commits sin is guilty of lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he was revealed to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him sins. No one who sins has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Everyone who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. Everyone who commits sin is a child of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The Son of God was revealed for this purpose, to destroy the works of the devil. Those who have been born of God do not sin, because God's seed abides in them. They cannot sin, because they have been born of God. The children of God and the children of the devil are revealed in this way. All who do not do what is right are not from God, nor are those who do not love their brothers and sisters. Here is the reading from the Holy Bible. And let's just go back and take great comfort from the opening verses. We'll reflect very briefly on John's first words here. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God. Now it's one thing to be called something, 
it's quite another to actually be it. So somebody might say, oh, he's a good footballer, but that doesn't actually mean that I am. But John says, we are called children of God, and we are. And then we get to the heart of it. Why are we children of God? How are we children of God? Because of the love of God. See what love the Father has given to us that we should be called children of God. We live in a generation where it isn't particularly fashionable to be churchy or uh, part of the God Squad or the other names. Actually, it's a very bad sign when people can't even be bothered to call us names. It shows how irrelevant they think we are. No, there's nothing particularly fashionable about going to church or saying the creed, I believe in God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. So, if we profess to be children of God, it's not because we're wanting to look good in front of our friends, it's much more likely we'll open ourselves to ridicule. And maybe that makes it even more important that we understand how lucky we are. For we are part of a a wonderful reality which is not understood by so many of our generation. And John goes through what it's all about in this reading today and actually there's not very much to it. It's all about love. We love others just as God loves us. And if we really do love others, then we understand that to sin is the opposite of love. Because if we love somebody, we can't do anything bad to them. And so, as they say, it's not rocket science to be one of the children of God. It's actually as simple as drawing breath. And so, on this Tuesday as we wait following the ascension of our Lord to celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit with fire and with all sorts of drama, let's take a moment in peace to give thanks to God for his love for us and to pray that we may share that love wherever we are and with whoever we are with. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle us in the fire of your love. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God and fellow heirs with Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people. Renew the face of your generation, Lord, pouring on us the gifts of your Spirit and kindle in us the fire of your love. For the creation waits with eager longing for the glorious liberty of the children of God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. Our New Testament canticle, the Benedictus. Christ has gone up on high and has led captivity captive. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy, and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. 
Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Christ has gone up on high and has led captivity captive. Alleluia. And now let's say our morning prayers. Dear loving Heavenly Father, as a new day begins, we pause to give you thanks for all your gifts. And we pray this morning that we may always understand that everything we have is a gift from you and that the greatest gift is your love for us. May we receive that love with thankfulness and may we share it. Share it with friends, share it with members of our family and share it with everybody who we meet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we pray for our world, particularly countries where COVID is still creating enormous problems. We pray for the people of Brazil and India and for those who mourn the loss of loved ones there. We give thanks for the continuing dedication and selflessness of doctors, nurses, frontline workers and researchers and carers in our own country. And we pray that as we move to a new phase of freedom, we may continue to be responsible, caring for ourselves and being careful for those around us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we pray for those who we know and love, particularly those who have a special needs at this time. From our parish list, we continue to hold in our prayers Phil Preesa, Anne Nash, Peter Norton, Gemma Pulford, Lorraine Lees, Asha Solianki, Catherine Jones, Siobhan Renson, Noel Bevan, Sheila Ward, Ray Padoni, Roger Siswick, Jane Slade, Rachel Power and Margaret Vintner. May they feel your peace and your love surrounding them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, in these prayers, we remember those who we've known and loved who are with us no longer. We thank you that we have been so lucky as to be loved by them and to know them and to learn from them. May we show all that we have learned in the way that we live our lives. And on this day of a funeral at All Saints, we commend to you the immortal soul of Margaret Mary Norton. And we pray for Peter and for their children, Tim and Catherine, and their grandchildren at this time of enormous sadness for them. May they feel that love which comes uniquely from you. And now we pray for ourselves and for all those others who we are praying for. And we commend us all to your mercy and protection, O Lord. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Being, <coughs> being made one by the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. <coughs> Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. 
May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and with all those who you love, today and always. Amen. Wherever you are, thank you for joining us for worship today. And whenever you, you're watching this, I know some of you watch it as a recording later in the day. Wherever you are, whatever time of day it is, however you're doing, may you feel God's love surrounding you. And may you will and wish to share that love with others. Tomorrow there will be two chances to worship God. There will be live worship, uh, which will be live streamed from All Saints tomorrow at 11.30, a Eucharistic service. And then in the evening there will be evening prayer from the Book of Common Prayer. I leave you now with the choir of um, St. Martin in the Fields singing another Ascension Tide hymn. The head that once was crowned with thorns is crowned with glory now. <laughs>